This is the Saber Forms Obi-Wan lightsaber that not only has a real metal hilt, authentic light and sound effects, but also the lights and sounds of over 22 different sabers, including the potential for custom lightsabers. But is it worth getting? Better stay tuned. This is your Geek Fix. If you've been watching our channel for a while, you probably know that we made a retractable lightsaber. Actually, we finally finished it. Uh, in May, we planned to finish the video to be able to release uh, for May the 4th. And instead, we had a few things happen from going to Tested to IGN Live, finally turning out our New Vegas video. So be sure to check those out if you haven't already. And I was looking for a lightsaber that I could duel with the retractable one, one that was quality, one that, uh, that was closer to something that you might have in your collection. And around then, Saber Forms uh, wanted to send us this one. This is a Obi-Wan lightsaber, which is said to be high quality at a reasonable price and uh, and has a lot of really cool functions. Which, by the way, it ships in this box. Um, it does have a picture of a lightsaber on the back, uh, but this would not be the lightsaber that we're opening. Um, so, what do you say? Should we open it up and see what's inside? And... Right off the bat, I have some instructions here, which looks pretty nice. I mean, it's really quality material, really nice instructions. Um, the only problem that I ran into uh, when I was looking at this is that um, it shows instructions not for the lightsaber that I got. Um, and I will say this, I think it also matches the lightsaber that's on the outside of the box, which is uh, closer to Darth Vader's lightsaber. Although it does go through and describe the three uh, Sabertronics versions. And so um, it's possible these are the instructions that come with all of their lightsabers. The differences are just minimal though, uh, mostly related to how you open the lightsaber, which I'll show you in just a minute. The next thing that's inside the box that's kind of misleading is there's this toolkit. And you look at it and you're thinking there would be a ton of things in there, but when you open it up, all that you see inside is this, this little baggie here, which I thought was just the charging cable when I first looked at it. But when you open it up, what you see inside is actually little tiny screw parts, uh, which which looked like in the instructions were already in there and you were supposed to take them out in order to be able to uh, take apart the saber itself. Uh, but they are not, they're not in there yet. Uh, we're gonna be putting those in after the fact. And then it also comes with a little tool, a uh, little Allen wrench sort of thing. So as far as the tools go, that's it. And next we have the saber itself, which, uh, which looks extremely Extremely nice. I mean, this is way better than anything I thought it was going to be. Um, this is not just metal or parts of metal. The whole thing is, I, A, this thing is very heavy. It fills exactly the weight I would expect for an actual lightsaber to be. But everything, I, was, I thought maybe these black parts were plastic or rubber or something. No, they are, it's all metal. The entire thing is metal. I mean, really, it's it's beautiful. It's gorgeous uh, in every way. Um, it does seem to be a little bit of a fingerprint magnet, but uh, I mean, really nice. The speaker on the bottom is not too bad. Doesn't look too noticeable. Um, any rate, so that's the the saber itself. As you can see, this is one that has an emitter in the top. So this is not a NeoPixel uh, blade that we're going to be putting on. But uh, still, how cool is that? Looks, looks gorgeous. Now, like I said though, uh, in the instructions, the way it shows to take this apart and to do different things is, is misleading. Uh, if I take off the top, which I can, um, what happens is I will see uh, just the wires that connect the top and the emitter to the rest of it, see right there. Nothing I need to really, really connect to up here or to do. Uh, down here at the very bottom, this part screws off at the moment because I haven't put in those screws to lock any of these pieces. Um, so that part as well, there's a screw that goes right there. But 
when I take off the bottom, as you can see, I have this part right here, um, which looks pretty nice. This has a speaker and things. And when I pull on it, because it has arrows that go inward, when I pull on it, it does appear to slide right on out. And what's cool about this is one, it's a pretty standard for me to get. This is not a hard battery to get. Um, in fact, uh, you can go down to your hardware store. The only big key to look for is some of these have buttons, some of them do not, uh, button tops. Uh, so direction sometimes is based on that. Uh, we have our charging port right here. So this is how you get this out to charge it. So I can't charge it when it's fully assembled. I do have to take this out first. On this side, as you probably already saw, we have an SD card, which I think is pretty, a 32 gigabyte actually, uh, which is pretty important because that means I also might be able to uh, create some of my own sounds. Um, anyway, so that's that. Putting it in, I just basically line up those arrows, slide it in, snap it, and put the bottom back on just like that. One thing that I don't like about this so far is uh, I don't have anywhere to clip. There's no belt clip on this. Um, so if we were to get something like that, we'd have to put it on ourselves somehow. Um, but s everything else looks gorgeous. Uh, that brings us to the next important piece that we need, which is our blade. Um, so yeah, it's just a tube uh, with a rounded end. Uh, on this end, I've got a little rubber stopper, which I can take off now. Uh, I might hold on to it though, just in case. And then we just slide that on in to the top here, just like that. It doesn't lock, even though I guess you can see, it doesn't lock by itself. I do now have to put in those screws. They aren't hard to screw in, um, just takes a few minutes. But in the end, there it is. It looks pretty good. I got my blade fully on there. And so now we're ready to actually test it out and see how well it works. Um, so here's what I now know to do about how to operate it. Uh, I'll take you through all the steps, all the phases, as well as the modes that make this pretty cool because it does a lot of things for one lightsaber. And true, this is the Obi-Wan lightsaber, or the, that's how it's advertised, but it can do so much more. So the first thing we need to be able to do is to put it into operation modes or so that we can, we can actually choose things. So I hold it down and, uh, until she says power on. Uh, at that point in time, the lightsaber is technically on, but that doesn't mean the blade's on, doesn't mean anything else. But that's not the sound you're gonna hear every time. This just allows me now to use it or carry it around. Um, so there's a couple ways to be able to turn on the saber is the first thing to mention. The very first one is that I can use this button to be able to do that. Um, and so just simply pushing the button will turn on the blade. Uh, this is one of the modes right here, but let's say I don't like that mode. Pushing the button again and holding it down will turn off the blade. And uh, and so that's one way to turn on and off the blade. And the other involves just a quick flick of the wrist. Like that. Uh, and same thing for turning it off. So those are two general ways to be able to turn this on and off. Now, one thing that I think is kind of cool about this is there's only one button, but it does so many things. There's so many functions in relation to this lightsaber, but it involves just one button. And so I'm gonna walk you through all of those functions. With the blade turned off, when I hold down the button uh, for one flash, so when you hold it down, you'll see that it will flash. Low volume. Uh, that says low volume. If I hold it down for one flash again. Mute on. Mute is on. Holding it down again. High volume. High volume. So now it's gonna be as loud as it can be. Uh, so that's the first thing I can do. Now for a second here, we're gonna skip over two flashes because I'll tell you in a moment what that means. So we're gonna go straight to three flashes now. Basic one. We got basic one. You remember when I first started it, there was a uh, flashing. Uh, going on with a blade. That's two, which if I hold it down for three, one, two, three. Basic two. That puts me in basic two, or one, two, three. Basic three. Basic three. Uh, 
So this is, that's basic three. Basic one. So now it's in basic one, which when I now turn it on, you'll see it has a solid color, uh, which on the camera is always going to look brighter than it actually is. So that looks pretty white. It's actually a blue blade right now. But that's what holding it down for three flashes does, is it will help me to change what the blade's consistency of light looks like. Next, we want to do our two flashes. One, two. Yoda. So that's what switches me between the different characters, uh, which it covers most all the characters with lightsabers in the Star Wars universe. So we got Yoda, Ray Skywalker, Ray, Ben. I guess Ben. I am the Inquisitor. The Inquisitor. Tell me, is this training? My training? No. Always training the universe is. Is that supposed to be Luke, or is that? Yoda, I guess we'll find out. So we'll try turning it on here. Oh, yep, sure enough. We've got a green blade. Again, I'm not sure how it looks on the camera because I think it's looking kind of white. It is a green blade. So. Master Windu. But there's a lot of different people on this. I am this. told it is the dark saber. Wait, there's a dark saber on here? Let's see what that looks like. That's kind of cool. Right? Any rate. Alright. And then, uh, let's see. Master Monday. It just kind of keeps going. As far as the number of people that it has in here. Reborn. Reborn. So it is kind of cool uh, how many different sabers are technically in here and the functions of what I can make them look like. So for example, right now I think it's supposed to be Anakin's um, that I have turned on. So, so this is what a solid light would look like. And then... Basic 2. Basic 3. Ah, basic three. That's the one that's flashing, I guess. Right there. Um, also, something to notice is that uh, when I hit something, it does flash to green. And I also have a couple of other options with this. Using my button. When the blade is turned on, uh, I can also, with one flash, it lets me select which color blade I want to do. So I got a bunch of colors. All I have to do to stop it on the color is to push the button one time. So maybe I want to go for red here. That comes to your end again. Or purple. There's purple. <laughs> so, okay, so now I got purple going on. Basic one. I'm putting it back to basic one. There we go. So yeah, it goes back to that regular color. So if I push the button and I hold it down for a second, um, I get that effect. Like two sabers hitting up against each other. Or, and like I said, when you actually do hit another saber, it does, it does flash. Just like that. But let's say I also, I want to uh, pretend like I'm being shot at, and I'm deflecting the the uh, shots. Well, then I can push the button for that, which will make it look like I'm getting hit. Like that. So that's also kind of a 
cool feature. Then, I can turn on and off that flash by holding it down for three blinks. So that now when I hit it against something, it doesn't flash or make the noise. When I hold it down for three again, flash on is back on. And now it'll flash when I hit things. Holding it for four, we'll turn it all the way off. Um, and, and that's for the most part, those are all the functions and the features in relation to this lightsaber, the things that it can do. Brightness wise, I'll also say, uh, keep in mind, I have high, high power lights on me right at the moment. And uh, so it's closer to daylight settings. And so when I'm turning this on and you're still seeing it pretty well lit up, it's pretty good. Uh, let me try turning things down. With the lights now turned down a bit, uh, this is what it's like in that mode. So as you can see, it's lighting me up pretty well. And uh, it's, it's really quite... Um, it's really pretty good. Uh, if these are those, I don't. I think one criticism would be the button. You know, when it's turned on, is there to let you know that it's turned on by it being lit up. Uh, which for some people that might bother. Uh, I don't see a big problem with it, but at the same time, if that would bother you, you probably wouldn't like that feature. So there's plenty of ways that you could cover that up. But again, this is also a pretty good sized blade. Um, it's at least three feet and uh, the hilt is also about a foot long exactly so what do I think of it is is it worth it um, now shortcomings like I said uh, there's no ring for me to attach uh, to a belt um, there is or half ring I guess they're called uh, I also will say that one of its strengths is also its weakness. Um, this thing is high-end. Uh, it really is. Uh, it's really well produced um, and it's all metal and it looks and feels the way you would expect it to. But I will also say having held cheaper ones, uh, plastic uh, ones, uh, this definitely is heavy. Um, it makes my wrist hurt sometimes. I noticed when I was trying to use it or, or work with it a little bit. Um, so I mean, be aware of that this is this is more realistic. Again, uh, if you're wanting that, this is perfect. I like all the functions. I like the fact that you can actually mute it, um, and so that way I can I can still light it up. I can still do everything I would have done with it otherwise. But now there's no uh, sound problems, um, and so. Uh, actually, I could have filmed this whole thing and just added some of the sound on a lower volume later. Um, so it's pretty great as far as like if you're going to be in an area where you can't really have it be too loud, you also have a low volume and then you have the high volume. It is an emitter, so it's not going to be as bright as or, or as, you know all the way up to the edge as you would see with like the NeoPixels or anything like that. But uh, on the flip side, I mean, for it being an emission of light uh, it looks really good um, it's really quite bright even inside of this room as I look at it the hard thing about video is it's often hard to see uh, things because it's gonna be lit up a little bit brighter so as I hold it closer you can see yep that's red for example but farther away it's looking white in person it's red no matter what I love the fact you can change the blade color um, you can be Anakin or you can be Darth Vader uh, you can, it has great sounds, uh, very realistic, and the speaker is, when it's fully turned up, it's actually loud enough. Uh, not only does it make it sound really realistic, but also when you're doing different things, it feels, it's giving you almost some haptic feedback. It feels uh, very realistic in that way too. I think the price point is very inexpensive for what this is, and, uh, and so I, I will say, I think, that definitely 
uh, this is worth it. Now you might be thinking, hey, didn't you say something earlier about possibly doing something with that SD card? And the answer is yes. Uh, actually, if you're willing to take off the bottom and carefully remove that SD card, which I don't recommend, uh, is very difficult. You might be able to get into the different lightsaber folders, which then gets you into the different files and creating your own WAV files to replace each of those. You might be able to do something like this. Let's go. See you next time. At any rate. One more important thing to know is that Saberforms also made us an affiliate, which means not only that if you purchase this, it will help contribute to our channel, but also you'll get $20 off of what is already 30% off the total price. So you get 30% off naturally, and then another $20 for using our affiliate link. Check out Saberforms in the description below. Also stay tuned for our retractable lightsaber and other things we're gonna be building on this channel. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment below. This has been your Geek Face.